the Gordon Murray Automotive T50 boasts a heart unlike any other. The Cosworth GMA V12, this naturally aspirated marvel, pushes the boundaries of internal combustion engine design, achieving an ear-splitting 12,100 RPM redline. and earning the title of the highest ribbing V12 ever fitted to a production car. But what exactly makes this engine so special? Well, let's delve into the technical details that makes the GMA V12 a true engineering masterpiece. Gordon Murray, the mastermind behind the T50, envisioned a powertrain that embodied lightness, responsiveness, and an unparalleled ability to scream towards the stratosphere. You see, Gordon Murray, believes that most cars that deliver an amazing driving experience is due to the engine. So he set out to produce the best V12 engine ever to be seen in a production car. To achieve this, he entrusted Cosworth, a company renowned for its racing pedigree and high-performance engine development. And the result? Well, the GMA V12. Now for those that don't know, making an engine rev to 12,000 RPM is no easy feat. It demands crazy engineering to ensure reliability and prevent a catastrophic failure. So let's talk about how Cosworth tackled some of the key challenges in making such a crazy engine. So let's start it off with the valve train. You see at such high engine speeds, valve springs struggle to keep pace and Cosworth implemented inclined titanium valves allowing for steeper angles and lighter weight both crucial for achieving the desired valve actuation and minimizing inertia. And low inertia is key when you are trying to build a super responsive motor. But they didn't stop with the valves. Next up was the crankshaft, the heart of the engine's rotating assembly. Now the crank is subjected to immense forces and building a light and strong crank is super tough. So of course we designed the GMA v 12 crankshaft to be the lightest V12 crank ever made. Again, minimizing inertia, and because it's so light, the engine could reach its red line super fast. But again, 12,000 RPM is insanely high, and normal timing belts simply can't handle the stress. So Cosworth opted for a bespoke gear drive system, a racing technology that ensures precise valve timing and reliable operation at extreme revs, albeit at a significant cost. But I mean, just look at it. The engineering behind this engine is insane. But I have to say, all of those gears have to add to the weight. Well, Cosworth thought of that too. You see, this motor is actually super lightweight. You see, the engine block, which is the foundation of the entire unit, is crafted from lightweight aluminium, which is significantly lighter in comparison to traditional iron blocks used in many V12s. The result? While the complete V12 engine weighs a mere 392 pounds, which is a remarkable feat for a naturally aspirated V12 powerhouse. Now, while achieving a record-breaking redline is impressive, a true driver's car needs a bit more. You see, many high RPM naturally aspirated motors suffer from the same fate. They are gutless at low RPMs. But the GMA V12 is totally different. You see, despite its high revving nature, the GMA V12 boasts a surprisingly wide torque curve. A significant 71% of its torque is available at a low 2500 RPM, ensuring responsive power delivery even at lower revs. This characteristic makes the T50 enjoyable to drive on a variety of roads, making it more than just a track monster. How did they do this? Well, drawing from lessons learned from the McLaren F1 V12, Cosworth opted for a full-throttle body design on the GMA V12 intake manifold. This simplifies engine balancing and eliminates the powertrain pulsing experienced in the F1, resulting in a smoother and more refined driving experience at lower engine speeds. Anyways, we have gone through this whole video and I haven't even discussed the engine specs, so let's just quickly touch on that. Now she makes 662 horsepower of naturally aspirated goodness and 470 newton meters of torque. 
Now, that doesn't sound as crazy as many other hypercars out there, but this car isn't built to be the fastest car on the road. Rather, it was made with the intention of being the ultimate driver's car. Plus, it's still no slouch. You see, this thing will do the sprint from 0 to 60 in a mere 2.7 seconds, and she will only top out once you reach 217 miles per hour. So it is still properly fast, even though its performance figures doesn't seem all that great. Anyways, to end it off, the GMA V12 is a supercar masterpiece. It's the ultimate engine for any driving enthusiast. It's a nationally aspirated V12 that screams to 12,100 RPM, driven through a gated manual transmission. The sound it produces is the call of our people. And I can't see anybody building a better engine anytime soon. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think there is a better motor already out there? I know there are some motors that sound insane, like the LFA's V10, the Carrera GT, um, most four rotors out there. They all sound amazing. But I think like a balance of power, torque, crazy high RPMs, sound and drivability, this thing might just be the best. But let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel. See if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?